Sometimes you want a mail server, and Linux comes with a mail server pre-installed because it uses it for in internal messaging. So if you would like to configure Postfix, your mail server on CentOS 7 and other devices to accept mail from external sources, you have to tell it to listen on external sources. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a server here and my server is running Postfix. It's on and it's running. If it wasn't on or if you weren't sure if it was on, you could always try installing Postfix to make sure it's there. Um, I'm going to verify that it's there, even though I know it's there. I can verify that Postfix is currently installed. Not only that, it is enabled and it is actively running. So I don't have to worry about changing anything there to make it run. However, uh, it is only listening on localhost because that's how it does internal messaging. And I can check that by doing a net stat minus T A N P, which lists all of the processes and I grep and it has the process name master. So I can leave this and I can see that it is running on port 25 both on IPv4 and IPv6, and I can see it's listening on localhost on both of them. I want to change it to listen to all my interfaces. So what I do is I go into the uh, etc postfix directory, and I do a nano on the main.cf file. And then I scroll down where I can find out which interfaces it's listening to. And scroll down for a little while. And here we see my receiving mail section. I can see that there is the INET interfaces either set to all or localhost. And localhost is uncommented and all is commented. So I delete the comment next to all and I comment out the localhost. If I leave both of them uncommented, it will set it to all and then immediately set it to localhost and it'll only be localhost. So I need to make sure I comment out the bottom one of these four lines. All right, so now I exit out, save that, and I restart my mail server. So, CTL restart post fix. Now I try running that netstat command again, and I can see that it is not listening on just localhost anymore. It's listening on the 0000, zero, zero, zero and colon colon, which is all interfaces. So now I have a fully functioning mail server listening everywhere. The problem now is I still don't have access from the outside. So in order to get access from the outside, I can change the firewall. So I would do firewall cmd add service. And my service name is smtp for simple mail transfer protocol. I add the service. And I also add it permanently. And now I have a fully functioning firewall hole, a mail server, and I can receive mail. Now I can only receive mail if machines have a DNS entry that points to my machine. So I need to make sure that whatever my host name is, that's what they're going to be receiving mail at. So I could send mail to server. So I could, if I have a username Alice, you send to Alice at server.example.com and that will work. If I want to install a mail client, um, it's good to use Alpine to test things. You want a nice little simple um, text-based mail server. And I like to install that one. So you can do a yum install epel release which gets you some extra libraries. And these libraries allow you to then install the Alpine mail client. So I will install that first. And once this is installed, I can go ahead and install Alpine. And 
and once Alpine has installed, then I can go ahead and jump directly into Alpine and use it. And the Alpine Mail client is um, based on the Pine Mail client made by the University of Washington, although they changed their licensing, so the Alpine client was created to help all users who were addicted to Pine but did not want to deal with the licensing. So I started up. Alpine fires right up, and then it takes me to this greeting. I press E to exit the greeting, and then I can press I to look at my index. And um, Q to quit. So nothing there. Anyway, that's how you configure your mail server to allow you to receive incoming mail.